Good morning, ladies and gentlemen in Rand Colony in Nigeria. Your own elder statesperson, Reverend Dr. Bartholomew Agbocheno, coming your way this day, the 29th of June, 2024. Two points on the agenda for you. Number one, the expression, your daddy. When I come up, I say I am coming to speak to my children. Some people are incensed about that. By me saying that they are my children. Some are incensed about that. Why should you call us your children when some of us senior you? Ogami, you seniorin me is not the issue. If you go to church, you call your pastor that could even be your son, your daddy. You can call him your daddy. Doesn't mean that he could bet you before you call him your daddy. The simple thing is that you uh, you you understand that he has more knowledge of the word of God than you and that is leading you in the pathway of the gospel. And that is why you call him your daddy. Me calling you my children in the grand ecosystem does not mean that I can bet you. Does not even mean that I may even senior you. But as far as this grant is concerned, grand history in Nigeria is concerned, I have made waves greater than any one of you. Sam introduced us to all this imbroglio. In Sam, nobody could come before me, before Donald. All of you, you know this. I organized the programs at Redeem Camp and I toured around the whole federation for Sam. But that time, Sam was uh, on the move. I made waves there. I saw a lot of things. When EFCC took Sam to court, I was the one going to court with, uh, uh, with uh, Donald's lawyer. I was the one going there. All of you, you know this. I was the first chairman of the National Coordinators Forum. I am not saying all these things to vaunt myself, but I'm trying to state all this as reasons for me, calling myself your daddy, and that you are my children. When Telpecon came, I knew it was going to fail. That was why I did not uh, cast my shadow there in Tiobat that made the next wave after Sam. You know the position I played in Tioba. Nobody needs to tell you before you know it. You know my efforts in Tioba. You know my status in Tioba. And here I am where I am. Tiobat, after Tiobat failed, in UAAG, I told you people that UAAG is nothing. That a lot of you did not listen to me. Because of the experiences I had acquired, you know, I passed my judgment. The UAAG, so long as is Ken Wakama, that is the head point, it will not fly. You people refuse to listen. But what is happening now is to show to you that I did not speak out of point. So you people, uh, when I say I am your daddy, I am not speaking out of point. But however, if you like, you admit me as your daddy. If you like, don't admit me as your daddy. I'm not looking for people to admit me as your, your daddy or his daddy or her daddy. I'm not looking for people, but that is my status. 
in this ecosystem, whether you like it or not. You can admit it. You 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 may not admit it. Admitting or not admitting it does not make any difference. So you people, you that are incensed, anytime you hear me call you people my children, these are my reasons. And I would like you to see that reason. It is not for anything. If I call you uh, my children, it does not mean, mean that uh, I'm going to send you on errand. It does not mean that I'm going to call you into my compound to be feeding you and the rest of them. So that is that one. Point number two, concerning the counsel to Reverend Ngwagachiko that I listened to today. If you are a very conscious individual, that should lecture you on some certain things. A lot of us will come to the airspace and we open our mouths anyhow. We open our mouths anyhow. Things that we cannot even defend. We open our mouths and we begin to say them. We begin to insult anyhow. I would like you to be warned. So many litigations are on the way coming. Before you open your mouth to say something, make sure you can defend it. If you cannot defend it, you fall into trouble. You say, come, elder statesman, you will not see me there. You will not see me there. A lot of you are uh, rumor peddlers. When you hear any rumor without finding out, without investigation, you begin to promote. You begin to promote and the rest of them you have to be warned don't open your mouth anyhow don't open your mouth anyhow if you open your mouth anyhow and it backlashes on you you face it alone let us know how to guard our mouths there are some people if they are on the platform their reasons for being on the platforms are just to insult people when you hear when you see them type you will begin to wonder do these people have good home training or whatever what Mwagachiku's lawyer has come to say should be a warning to all of you before you open your mouth to say anything make sure you can defend it that is my elderly advice to every tom dick and harry good morning <laughs>